Hi. Today we're going to look at how to create a partner mailbox to file system data flow. The first thing we'll do is sign into CIC. Once you're logged into CIC, you'll jump to the Network tab, take the Endpoint option, and then the Add Endpoint option to the far right. You'll select your partner mailbox type, where you'll give it a name, enable the different type of connections you want to provide to your partner, and as you can see, no matter which connection type you allow, we provide you with the URL to share with your partner. You'd give username, a password to share with your partner, add any additional attributes related to PGP for both inbound and outbound, change your different algorithms, or allow your password to expire after a specified period of time. From there, you'd hit the save and your endpoint would be created. Additionally, we'd have to create our file system endpoint. From there, you'd simply create, select the type, You'd give it a name, and then select the access point. And the access point is simply the file server where you installed the lightweight headless CIC agent to monitor the file system of that file server. You'd select which folder you want it to have monitored. From there, you'd click Save, and your file system endpoint would be created. Once your partner mailbox and your file system endpoints are created, you can create a data flow. You'd come to Integrations, select Data Flows, and then select the Add Data Flow option. And then from there, you would select the type of endpoint you want it to connect to. I already have this one pre-built. It would be from your partner mailbox to your file system. And from there, I will show you the finished product, which is simply Partner Mailbox. You select it, and then your endpoint, you select it. You'd hit Save. Then it's ready to allow you to trade data with your partner. Once it's created, in order to monitor those transactions with your partner, you'd hop over to the Activity tab, and select jobs. And as you can see in jobs, you're presented with a list of all of the transactions that occur between any of your endpoints to any of your endpoints. All data flows are represented here. You can double click into the particular job to see which endpoint was used as the source, what flow happened, and which is the target. You have access to the payload and to any logs relate it to the transaction, whether it's successful or unsuccessful. That's it. Thank you. Request a personalized Clio demo today 